I arrived in Australia in 1982 with nothing but big dreams and a burn in my belly to be successful. I didn't know what success looked like, who really does at 16, but I knew two things for sure. Firstly, I was going to make Australia my home and secondly, I was going to make something of my life. I would describe my life as eclectic. There are three parts to my life. Firstly, there's my family. My kids are the most important things in my life to me. I do what I do to put a roof over their heads. Giving them opportunities that I never had and I do my best to be the best mum I possibly can be. And that in itself is a challenge at times. There are days when I see myself as being an epic fail as a mum. Secondly, there's my not-for-profit Links Fiji, which I set up just over 10 years ago. Our focus is very much women's health. Cervical cancer is a major issue in Fiji, and for the cost of a coffee here in Australia, I can potentially save a woman's life. We have a wonderful local medical team in Fiji who works with us, and to date, we have not lost one of our patients with insidious disease. Thirdly, I'm one of only a handful of female CEOs in my industry real estate. As a result, my drive and focus is very much about gender balance in the workplace, helping women promote themselves, take risks, and most importantly, letting go of the guilt. The Telstra win has given me the opportunity to influence, challenge, and change the status quo. When they announced my name as a 2013 Victorian Telstra Businesswoman of the Year, I was stunned. I remember my son standing up and screaming next to me. My daughter was rocking backwards and forwards from the nervousness of the night, my dad was dancing somewhere in the aisles in the Crown Hotel. My mum was as stunned as I was. And I remember standing up, shaking like a leaf, and thinking to myself, focus on getting to the stage. Walking up to receive the award, I kept thinking, oh my God, has this really happened? Stop shaking or you're going to fall down the stairs and don't cry. I remember turning around to have a look to see where my family was. And I remember seeing this sea of people standing up and applauding. It was just an unforgettable moment. What is etched in my mind, however, is the look on my kids' face. There are many moments as parents we are so proud of our children. However, it is wonderful to have those very few moments where you can see your kids really proud of you. Every year I write my goals and I stick them on my shower wall. It keeps me focused. Um, so when I lose focus, I know that they're right there in front of me. And on my shower wall this year, were three, three key things I wanted to achieve. The first one was to write a book. It, I did that, it was published in May this year. The second one was to buy my first investment property as a single woman. I did that, it settled in last month. And the third one was to win the Telstra Businesswoman's Award. <laughs> I'm gonna go home tonight and tick that one off the list too. <laughs> so who is Sadna Smiles? Well, I'm a single mum. I'm one of only a handful of female CEOs in my industry real estate. I'm the founder of a not-for-profit Links Fiji. I'm the founder of the networking group Corporate Sari. And I'm the author of the book, People Power, Did You Have Them at Hello?